Hello everyone, Surya from Design Plus Code and welcome to the iOS Design Handbook. In this handbook, we'll be going over designing for iOS and understanding the design language of the Apple platform by following the human interface guidelines that will help us better understand about colors, typography and layout, as these are the building blocks of design. And knowing this can be really useful. Now, if you see how much design has evolved from the past few years, and you can already sense that colors, typography and layout play a major role in today's design scene. If you take a look at the original iOS, it takes a lot of inspiration from the real world from textures to shadows to help users better understand how the product works by using these metaphors. But it's not the same case anymore as everyone is comfortable and can understand better how things work digitally. And as a result, the iOS 7 refresh happened, which embraced flat colors, rich typography and high resolution content. And now with iOS 14, the texts are bolder, they have much better hierarchy than what we had before, they also use rounded corners and drop shadow to make the UI more tactile and approachable. And now in the recent years, devices are getting bigger and bigger so it is very hard for users to interact with their screens just with a thumb. And as a result, the bottom card UI was born, that addresses this problem by moving all the interactive elements to the bottom of the screen, making it easier for users to interact with the apps as everything is within the reach of a thumb. Another important thing with iOS 14 is to make your content clear and readable. And this can be only done through typography. So it is very essential for us to have the right type sizes and styles. Another thing with iOS 14 is the use of cards and models, as this helps people focus on self-contained tasks or act on critical information without any distraction. Another important aspect of iOS are the animations, and this helps to create delightfulness in the minds of users. But it is very important to keep this subtle and minimal, and not to go overboard with this, as oftentimes this can create frustration. So always aim to have subtle animation that doesn't last longer. You should be also aware that animations are not mainly used to create delightfulness, rather to indicate users about the change of context. Finally, be realistic when the animations are demonstrated. A model that slides from the bottom should be dismissed back to the bottom of the screen. That way, users can appreciate the physicality of the elements even if they are digital. Now with all this put together, we can agree that iOS is all about clarity, difference and depth. Now before getting into the tutorials, I would like you to hop on to human interface guidelines and read about the design guidelines that Apple has written, which will help you immensely to understand the iOS design language and the whole Apple platform and how their approach to design is. And what's so special about these guidelines is, it won't restrict you but rather help you get out of the constraints. I'd also like you to download the Apple Design Resources which has the iOS UI kit that provides all the native UI elements, system colors and system font styles which will help you move faster rather than starting from scratch every single time. Unfortunately, the UI kit is not available for Figma but what you can do is on Figma, head over to the community tab and search for iOS 14 UI kit and download this file by Joey Banks, which is totally free and you can use this as a library. I also want you to download the SF fonts, which is the font that Apple uses on all its platform. Of course, you can use your own fonts, but this is a good place to start with as Apple has most of the type styles ready for you so you don't have to stress about typography. One last thing I want you to download is the SF symbols, which is a font icon that seamlessly integrates with the SF fonts. And all you have to do to use this is copy and paste it just like you do with the text. And that's all you need to get started with. And I hope this will be useful to you and you'll be enjoying the handbook. See you in the next video. Bye.